Welcome back to The Witcher 3. There is something interesting going I on don't here. Like you. Yes. Where's Lena? Something happened? She passed away. Soon after you'd left. You resent my choice. I understand. But believe me, my potions wouldn't have helped. Alas, I must take your word for it. Listen, ever heard of a woman named Claire? Lived around here? Heard of her? A mild way to put it. Claire was a friend. The only person dear to me in all of White Orchard. Until her husband, Volker, quarreled with the Lord of the Manor. He then gathered the family, moved out into the woods to start a new settlement. The Lord and his retinue rode there to convince them to return. They were to be civil. No forcing, no bloodshed. But... You saw. Word is Claire said something about the Lord's son, Florian. Something that made the Lord furious. But who knows the truth? Lots of misfortune for such a small village. Tis so in every village. Even the smallest. You need only ask. But let's not end on a teary note. Here, a bit of solace. Yes? Tell me something about yourself. What's your story? A sad one. Do you know the Temple of Melitale in Alanda? Do I know it? Can't remember how many times I've been there, how many times Mother Nenica stitched me up. We must have missed each other. I started to become a healer under Mother Nenica. Hmm. I was but 18 when they took me in. An age at which teachings interest one far less than love. There was a boy, Goslath. He'd bare his chest to work. The novices couldn't keep their eyes off him, tripped over their own feet, dropped things. I left the temple for him. We passed a lovely summer together, and then he left. Neneke refused to take me back. My parents uttered not a word, gave me a travel cloak and a small coin pouch. I struggled long to find a place where I'd feel safe, needed, until I finally arrived here. End of story. Farewell. Holy help me! It, it's very annoying to have to deal with all the screaming NPCs when you're just running. Damn, you're ugly. Or riding far away past them. Anyway. What am I doing in White Orchard? Well, besides hearing that lovely story that I should probably should have completed at the beginning, I'm also here to... A well. return customer. Well... So long. Shit in a blowhole. There's no other merchants here in White Orchard that I could interact I with. Well, obviously there's the quartermaster at the garrison, but I've already beaten him. Need the siege tower. Need the fucking siege tower and no one has it for fucking sale. Really, CDPR, I get it. You want people to travel the world, to play with every fucking person, but that's exactly what I've done. I've literally played everyone. For hours on end, that's exactly what I've done. I can't complete this goddamn Ooh, set. Stop! I can't lose any Gwent game because I've got a powerful deck. And I, I can't think. complete the deck either. Are you here to spy or haggle? Show me what you're peddling. So long. Echelaine Ted at the Vavor, poor dog. I saw you. 
There needs to be a merchant which gives you the um, basic decks for every faction and the special cards you get by completing quests and all that stuff. Because as is, it's really goddamn tiresome to have to deal with this. Anyway, I'll uh, go handle the contract here by the Meatworks. Well, there are elven witchers, but not sure about halflings or dwarves. Pretty sure the mutations wouldn't work. There are no female witchers because the mutations wouldn't work on them. And if CD Projekt gives you the option of playing a female witcher in the next game, someone will be smashing walls down <laughs> at their quarters. Oh, you're back. Have you changed your mind? Will you vanquish the Apiarian phantom? Told you already. No such thing. As far as my reward's concerned. Oh, as you wish. Fail to rid us of the Phantom and we'll go belly up anyway. I shall look upon your fee as an investment. So it's a deal? It is. It is. You do realize this apiarian phantom. Well, there is no such thing. It's a monster, gotta be. A wraith, maybe. Any of your workers see anything? I did. I was cleaning a hive when I heard a farmhand cry out. Screamed as though he'd been stung by a whole swarm all at once. I ran to him, but he was dead. Any stings on him? None. D he looked like he had frostbite. Blue lips, frost in his hair. And dead bees lay all around him. Farmhand who died. What did you do with the body? Wouldn't mind a look. Too late for that. We buried the poor fellow a few days back. Where'd the phantom appear? Can any of you show me? I'll go. Come with me. Ooh, this way. Oh, Follow me. Where'd you get the idea it was an apiarian phantom? Stop. It's a beekeeping superstition. You mismanage the bees' offerings, the phantom appears. He destroys the hives and kills the bees, so that no one can use these noble creatures for ignoble purpose. Sick to your bees on the competition, eh? No. Father recently signed a contract with the Redanians. So the phantom's from Nilfgaard. Here's where the phantom oh. killed the farmhand. Maybe it left some tracks. Rogue. What if a halfling became a witcher, eh? Covered in frost. Cold must have killed the bees. Blood. Dried and blackened, so several days old. Must be where the farmhand died. Riding skinflints to skin other skinflints. What if a halfling became a witcher, eh? I get that I'm supposed to examine it. That trail. Ah, there we go. The phantom has got really large feet, and it's pretty damn heavy. 
tracks disappear in the water. Doubt anything's hiding in this puddle they call a lake. Need to check the other side, see if the trail goes on. A lake? What? Why would you ever call this a lake? It's obviously a puddle. Also, why are there drowners everywhere near water that... Well, someone died here recently. I suppose. What now, you piece of filth? My guess... That's the monster that I was hunting. Show me a pond, and I'll show you the dreamers. But they didn't destroy the ponds. through here. Gotta find another way in. Right here. The father began building this house for Bernie, but ran out to coin. It's been standing half finished since. Wonderful hiding place for whatever destroyed your hives. I'm going in. You go home and bar your door. Who knows what might come out of there. Apiarium phantom my ass. It's a hound of the wild hunt. How the hell did it end up here? Roach will run you down. Come on, Roach. Yeah, I uh, figured the wild hunt would be involved somehow. But... Wait, why is it running? Where is it running? Help! I can't attack it.
you fare? Did you drive off the phantom? <laughs> Your Apiarian phantom was a hound of the wild hunt. Eternal fire! Hounds run with the wild hunt as well. About two weeks back, I woke suddenly in the night, saw the hunt streaking across the sky. Hound must have gotten separated then. Couldn't go back, so it hid in the empty house. It's hardly compensation for your losses, but at least the Hound won't destroy any more hives. Thank you, Witcher. It's true. Nothing like hiring a specialist. Enough for today, boys. Let's go home. We have a big day tomorrow. But why was the wild hunt here? That uh, question remains unanswered, doesn't it? Looking for Siri, I suppose? Perhaps, but... Well, the thing is, is that in the leaked version, the Wild Hunt, based on a flashback file, the Wild Hunt was supposed to attack Novigrad, and yet that never happens. Wait, there is actually something there, but I'll first go here and see if there's anything. And then I'll check Yantra.
If I were to guess, I'd say I'd find cat armor diagrams or griffin armor diagrams. Which are free is nothing if not predictable in this regard. What the... the golem? Yeah, where is it, actually? Where did I put that? Don't tell me I actually threw it away. That would be terrible. Oh, great. I did, didn't I? Or it should be that, but I can't use it I can't interact with the wall it should be ah there we go
long trek requires a fellowship. Not a couple one together. Maybe I ought to turn around. That's a chunk of distance. of power should draw from it. Of course, seen here on Serious Gaming, signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.